Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. A couple of weeks ago, we received an email from a man who claimed he had some valuable information about romance scams. He told us that he's watched a lot of our videos, but that it's time that we hear it from the scammer's side. Dale, I got a call for you. Hey, hang on one second, okay? All right, all right. Hi, this is uh, David with uh, Social Catfish. How are you? I'm good. Uh, you too. I think you have the lights on, a bit chubby, right? I, I'm a bit chubby, maybe. I try not to be. Oh, I, I recognize the three of you. You have two guys and the lady. So I'm trying to be sure who I'm talking to out of the three of you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, right. so that's me. How are you doing? I'm good, bro. And I'm good. and what's your name? Oh, brother, let me keep that anonymous. Just it's an African name. I'll tell you, you won't be able to pronounce it. So w that's it. What would you want me to? Do you have like a nickname or something you want me to call you instead? All right, yeah, call me marvelous. That's actually my name, marvelous. Marvelous. All right, marvelous. Yeah. Um, yeah. So marvelous, you contacted us. You said you have some insider okay. information. I would love to hear a little bit about what you have. So we gathered our questions and we interviewed him. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Do you talk to other people about scamming or is it something you guys kind of keep to yourselves but everybody knows about it? It's something people brag about. I have this client, I've scammed this amount, so, so, so amount, this amount, so. It's something everybody talks about, but I'm not that type that talk. I scam to survive, not not to like brag. So that's the difference. So you know the difference is is clear. But scamming is not your passion. You're just doing it because to you survive. Want it. Yeah. Just to survive. Yeah, brother. And so, what's the most you've ever gotten from one of your clients, from a victim? A thousand. Once you get money from somebody, do you just get rid of them? What do you do? Of the clients, yeah, sure, you get rid of them because there's nothing more they would do for you. The money has to keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. And hey, I just want to let you know, we're not going to show anything that reveals you. Like, um, like I give you my word. Like I'm like I don't agree with what you do. I don't think you're a terrible person. What you do is wrong. Like you know that, and I don't need to sure. tell you. But like. I'm not gonna do anything to jeopardize you. I just want you to know that. All right, brother, thank you. This is what's crazy to me is like, everybody I talk to Marvelous, like they all say the same thing. They all say, look, I scam to survive. The main problem is no job, no employment, nothing, nothing. The maximum amount a gas station staff earn in Nigeria is 15,000. And 15,000 should be, if I'm right, should be something like 45 or $30 a month. Uh, an average Nigerian will spend a thousand on food in a day. Naira. That is a thousand naira? Yeah, on food. That is like $2.5, if I'm right. Mm -hmm. You spend nothing less than 500 naira on transport a day. Like it's just something you can't live on. If I become a hairstylist, right? A barber, how much can I make in Nigeria? 400 to 500 naira per a that is like a dollar per, per hair. A, a dollar per haircut? Yeah, per haircut, that's it. So in order just to eat for the day, you would have to cut three people's hair. <laughs> now you're right, brother. So what time is it there right now? It's 6.27 right now in Nigeria. It's there. It's a bit cloudy. Let me show you outside. Hey, brother. Uh, yeah. Welcome. This is Walk us through the town. Walk us through what like daily life is for like a lot of people because I think that's really interesting. Okay, silent. Let me go. So this is like a mini road to the town. Yeah, these are our transport. I used to be here. Then here where I live, it's like 
a small town in a city. So we have almost everything we want here. This is really good. Thanks, everybody moving. You can barely hear me right now because it's, it's loud and maybe noisy. You can hear generators. These are generators. We don't have real electricity. These are Ayama. Yeah, you can spike man. So this is like a mini supermarket here. Like a store. Okay, you could call it store there. Yeah, we have our store too. This is where we buy stuff. Here is a gas station, an unfinished gas station. Just like I said, no drainage, you know. This should be the work of the government if I'm right. But it's not. There is no proper drainage within this town in Nigeria. Here you can see the amount of litter and sewage that is visible throughout the town. This is because of the government's negligence that they have for their country. Usually it is the government's responsibility to take care of the sewage and litter across their country. However, as you can see, the government does not care about where its citizens live. They also don't educate their citizens about the impact cleanliness has on their environment. So many citizens in Nigeria don't know the impact their litter is having on their well-being. By the way guys, we work really hard on these videos. We appreciate all the support and it always goes appreciated. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get back into it. So here is a school, a mixture of a school and a church. Yeah. And I noticed that the school has the, the barbed wire on top. Why is that? Yeah, because <laughs> of security purposes. It's a fire in Nigeria. Anything is not safe. Right. Actually, so particular areas, because... So is there a lot of construction that goes on? Obviously, yes. Yes, yeah, one. Yes, yeah, one. Is it the government? Are they people? Who's building? It's not the government. It's the people. The government does not care about you a lot. Unless it's election period, yeah, they'll come. This is another church. Nigeria is such a religious country. We are very religious and we are very corrupt. Yes. How how is it that you guys are very religious but also very corrupt? Because it usually the two are are very different. Yeah, it's it's. How am I supposed to say this? <laughs> you know, there's this uh, way of saying, "Hear what I preach, don't do what I say. Uh, right. Hear what I don't do as I say." So that is the principle that works in Nigeria. If Nigeria pastors are corrupt. Yeah, but they'll come to a town and tell you to hear what they preach. But don't do as they say. Oh, don't do as they act. That's it. How many people, like, are scamming? Is it the younger people, the older people? What people are the ones? Once you're 15 and above in Nigeria, you are into it. Either, either way, you are into it. Is that one of your family members into it? Is it that one of your brothers, one of your friends. And so that's your house, that's where you live? Yeah, sure. You can see it's not really a big boy's house. It's just, like I told you guys the other time, it's a rice survivor. Do you own your house, or are you renting, or you live with your parents? I rent my house, I don't live with my parents. According to the World Bank, 40% of Nigerian citizens are living below the poverty line with 25% of people at risk of falling below the poverty line. They know that if they can scam an American citizen out of $1,000, it would equal up to 410,500 naira. Along with this, an average salary in Nigeria is 15,000 naira a month. What's your goal? Like, do you want to move out of Nigeria? You want to stay in Nigeria and, um, and try to just build some wealth like what's your goal long term definitely i'll move out of nigeria like out of africa too or um uh, out of africa out of africa that's that's it i have to move out like if you could move anywhere right now where would you move to to be the states bro the I united have, states yeah i have a skill i have the knowledge i try to learn every day I buy books online just to improve my knowledge. So I think if I get there, I have a bigger chance of surviving legally than what we do here in Nigeria. And I remember you were saying that you're learning like 
programming, computer programming? Actually, I, I did, and I have my certificates. But if you could do that full time and stop scamming, would you do it? Obviously, yes, I would. And I came up with something that I think might help you guys. What's that? I'll give you guys maybe four words to, to tell people to use. Those words are like my friend in local language. When once you tell a, uh, a scam those words, they'll just leave you because they believe you are one. Like they believe you are a scam like them. Mm. What yeah. are those words? It's let maybe I should type it. You'll be able to understand. It's Alaye Paji, my guy Alpha. Those words are like my friend, buddy, mm. bro. What's up? So when when people say those words, like when you text those words to to guys, they just reply you with maybe smiles. Once people like people that understand those words, you know they are they are they are scams. Can we help the victims out that you've stolen money from? I mean, if you had the chance to help those people out and pay that money back somehow, would would um, you do it? Sure. Sure. What if I gave you some work to work it off and I'll pay them back for you? It's for real, yeah, I would do I would do that. Okay. So what if I gave you some dev work, some development work? Oh sure, to pay them back. Yeah, I have a woman in mind to actually pay back. Oh, have you ever built a scraper like a PHP scraper before? Yeah, sure. I we'll have to like maybe read over it tonight more to it's been long, I, I did something like that. Read about it tonight, and um, let me see if we can come up with an idea for you to pay back some of your victims. And then right, you can also learn some, 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 some more dev and PHP work in the meantime. Okay. Does that sound like a plan? Sure. Okay, I'll hold you to it. What I'll do is I'll pay you some money and then the difference, I'll pay the victims and we'll start paying off your victims. Thank you. Does that work? Sure, it works. I appreciate the time and I appreciate you wanting to, to you know, be honest and turn things around. Um, and I, by the way, I appreciate you not asking for, my, like, for money or anything. You know, all these interviews I ever do, everybody's always trying to pit me for iTunes gift cards. Actually, I'm not. Like I told you, I'm not. I get it. I, yeah, I know. I, I know. I know you won't. So... All right, Marvelous, you have a good night. Thank you. All right. All right, I'll talk to you later. You have a good night. Okay, good night. Uh, bye. Yeah, bye. Thanks for watching another episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Scams come in so many different forms. If you have been a victim of any of the scams below, please email us at sharemystory@socialcatfish.com. We'll get to the bottom of it with help from our Social Catfish team. By sharing your story with our YouTube audience, we can educate, spread awareness, and maybe someday we can put an end to these scams.